What's up guys, it's Lexi. Tis the season of back to school shopping. I've done so much shopping. I have new clothes, a ton of new makeup, a ton of new skincare, and I also have some food favorites. I've already uploaded an apartment decor haul. That was my last video, so I feel like I've been catching up. I feel like I just saw you guys pretty recently. We'll get started with my very favorite thing that I bought, like, out of everything. I don't get myself new shoes very often, so when I do, it's a big deal. I had to get sneakers because it's the city and I needed to be practical, but they're so clean. Oh, I love clean shoes and I don't want them to get dirty, but that's just not what shoes are for. The shoes are meant to be worn. I have a shoe collection up on one of my highlights on my Instagram story. I don't own that many shoes. And so to add these to the mix, what I got these are opening ceremony and I think that they were like $100, which reminds me, this video is in collaboration with Shop Tiger. So if you are shopping online and you have something that you've been eyeing, but it's maybe out of your price range, download the Shop Tiger extension and you can just click it and it'll notify you when that item goes on sale. It's very easy. It's super helpful if you're someone who has really expensive taste, but maybe not the wallet to match, i.e. We'll pull up these shoes. You see these shoes, you're like, ah, oh, $100, like let's wait till they go on sale. 25% off you click that it adds it to your list and you have all of your items that you've seen online actually two of my items right now are already being marked as on sale like this dress that was I think like $180 is now $100 off so I think I'm gonna get it it's this cute little lavender dress so if you see me wearing that little NBD dress it's NBD if you already have the shop tiger extension I'm sure you know how helpful it is I will have a link to download below the next thing I want to show you is also one of my favorites this is not typically my style at all. There's a few items in this haul that are not my style. They're a little too trendy, I think. It's this Fila mildly cropped pale yellow and white vertical stripe long sleeve tee. And I think I love it so much because I'm not really ready to admit that the cold weather is coming, but it is, and so I need to prepare. And this is springtime colors with um, some cold cold climate shapes and silhouettes. Okay, so I ended up going on like a mild shopping spree today after class, really just trying to get this one shirt. I was watching this girl's YouTube channel. Um, she's like a high school vlogger. So like, why was I watching her? I don't know. And she was wearing this shirt, except for it was light blue and white. It was like this kind of color and it had a little zipper down it. And I went to Urban Outfitters to find it and I couldn't find it. They did find this skirt though. And it has the same zipper that the shirt would have had. And it's patent leather. But I got this in a size large. And the medium is a little too tight. And the large is a little too big. And then I got these Fila sweatpants. Light blue. I'm going to wear it with the top. I love a nice matching sweatsuit. Even though they don't totally... They actually don't match whatsoever. So then I just have to buy that top, I guess. I don't really know. I don't really know what to make of this situation. I feel like I went into a blackout. I got this cropped orange zip hoodie, and I do wish the crop was a little bit longer because this is a back to school haul, and this is a little bit out of dress code. I'm in college, so people don't really care if you're showing your stomach, but if you're in high school, you would probably have to wear tank top underneath it or like a tight dress or you could do some layering with it you would just have to get creative if you wanted to wear this to school and you can wear it high neck zipped all the way up or you can unzip it then I got another high neck zip top that is super retro looking like really really weird looking <laughs> I don't think I really even like it anymore. There's two items that I got at Urban today, and this being one of them, I'm sort of like, why did I just buy that? I don't mind it from here up, but the bottom part that takes up the whole midriff is this awful green, yellow, terrible color. I don't like the color blocking on this. I wanted to, I guess, include it in case this is your style and you like it, then it's just me showing it off and saying, hey, Look what's at Urban Outfitters ready to, for you to own. A little IMG of clothing. I love how this fits. I think it's so flattering. And I got it in a size large, which was um, a good move because I almost got it in a medium. And I'm very in between sizes. I would like to be a medium, but you know, I'd rather the clothes fit and me be a large than me tell myself that I'm a medium and not be a medium. This is the shirt. 
Have you seen it all over Instagram already? See, this is the thing. It's like everything I'm showing you, it's for the trendy bitches out there. And I'm not a trendy bitch. But today I am. You can see what this color looks like on me. Um, the color is good on my skin. The silhouette is really flattering. I do need to go exchange it because the left sleeve is messed up. But besides that, I'm so pleasantly surprised with this top. Uh, pretty excited to wear it. <laughs> next thing, next thing. A pair of salmon overalls with a ton of hardware. It's these black straps, belt buckle style in the back. And you have a pocket in the front. Um, and you have chains on the side and little back pockets. This doesn't quite fit me right. Also, the chain is too much. But actually, I need to make another one because I want to do a DIY on how to make your own jean chain because it's really easy, really affordable, and it kind of feels fun to just be like, oh yeah, I made this. And, and then the ankles are cinched. It's like a little bit of a failed haul because I forgot that I got this hat. And this is another thing that needs to be returned. Guys, look, like, I'm, what? No. You know, mostly hits, but like it was a little bit of a blacked out shopping experience. And now I want to show you some stuff from Cloak and Dagger, which I believe is only in New York City, but the the brands that they carry are online, so I think it's worth showing. And I got two plaid items, a little schoolgirl dress, navy and green. Green is my favorite color right now. Not this green, but I got a purse that you'll see in a hot second. That is my favorite green of of the moment this dress is spaghetti straps and it hits mid thigh it's not too tight so it's good for school and i got a jacket to go over top oh the brand of this before i forget i will link it down below as well as wild honey which they sell the princess polly i feel like i've seen that there before i'm not sure and this is a little zipper jacket that i'm obsessed with it it's good for over the dress but i think this is just a good jacket in general it's a good crop it's loose it's a little baggy I also think it would look great with the plaid pants that I'm gonna show you and I think this would look good with the top underneath it I think it would look good with no top underneath it and then the plaid pants I want to show are not wild honey they're current air and I showed these in my get ready with me video I wore these out to my friend's play she's a director she's back in Norway now though really sad and I wore it to a winky Lux event these are pretty long they're mildly flared and they fit well from Kara, same brand of my black pale bucket bag that i've talked about so many times i have a new car bag to add to my collection this is my favorite color at the moment this is such the color of the moment it's the color of my instagram profile picture i love it i like the shape of it it's very classic uh there's a nice pocket in the back that you can store things there's the flap that you open on the front and it's magnetic really strong magnets by the way and there's two pockets that you can place stuff so you can compartmentalize and stay a little bit more organized and then once again the classic little button on the bag and silver hardware i love it i think it's perfect i i'm i'm pleased I'll show you just a few things, not everything. I might make another haul, who knows. Okay, Sunday Riley, got myself this C&E antioxidant moisturizer. This is the same smell as my dad's vitamin C pills. The same exact smell, so that kind of reminds me of him. And I'm a little skincare junkie. Speaking of skincare, I've been requested to do a video on how I keep my skin clear and how I, gl how I glow. <laughs> You can't, it's something that only someone else can say about yourself. You can't tell yourself you glow. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. I'll teach you how I glow. I also want to make a video on how I grew my hair out, especially coming from someone who has very fine hair. So I have tips for that as well. Just, it's nice to talk about beauty and makeup. It was a really intense weekend, if I can just like open up for a hot second. And it's really nice to just be able to turn on the camera and be like, look at this shirt I got, yo. Picked up my Holy Grail foundation. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I'm in the shade 315, which is so easy to remember for me because my birthday is 315. Uh, 
and that's my fun fact <laughs> you haven't tried that foundation before it's absolutely fantastic have yet to find a better one and then this is the all-nighter spray by urban Alpha by urban decay they had an option for a pollution protection one environmental defense and i don't know if that does anything but i figured you know i live in a dirty city anyway the reason i was so late to hop on this bandwagon is because i just truly didn't believe that it would work i was like it's just water it's just really expensive water and i can tell you that after maybe two weeks of having this this is really a fantastic product that does its job and i will be the first to admit that i was wrong it's kind of actually relieving when you find out that a product works because I think we get into our heads that everyone's just trying to sell us something but when you find things that are like no this does the job that it says it does and it's worth the money that I paid for it that's always satisfying as a consumer so yes I am a new fan of the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and then I got a little refill on my favorite lip balm the Winky Luxe Flower Balm this is the watermelon one I have a glitter one as well they normally have a flower inside of it this one doesn't but that's it's okay honestly not the worst thing in the world because then when you get down to the bottom you don't have the flowers scratching you if you haven't heard me talk about this it stains your lips to the ph level that you are so everyone gets a different color and the color that it makes my lips i love it i'm obsessed with it and then on to the real good food this is what i really want to talk about i don't know if this is the most white girl thing that i could have ever picked up at trader joe's but it's blueberry lavender flavored almond milk and it's so good it's probably just as good as it sounds if not way better i have such a sweet tooth and it takes so much willpower for me to have a meal and not want dessert afterwards like a cookie or a brownie or an ice cream cone i can have a cup of this and it satisfies my sweet craving and i just like that they did this and i wanted to pass on the recommendation to you if you have any other things that you want to see girl boy i've got so many things so many things that like my room's getting a little bit cluttered and I'm like, oh, did I mess up? I'll link everything that I've mentioned in the description box so you can shop my video and if there's anything that you want to buy that's maybe a little out of your price range, at least at the moment, try using Shop Tiger. Just download it as the extension. It's super easy and there's no reason not to. Everybody can benefit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos because... I have a feeling that I will be uploading more frequently. That being said, I don't have an uploading schedule, so add me on notifications. Click the bell wherever it may be. And if you're someone who's really into Instagram or Twitter, I'm really into them as well. So you can follow me on Instagram. It's at Lexi, or you can follow me on Twitter. It's also at Lexi. Very easy to remember, L-E-X-I-E. There's not that many of us out here, so if you're an L-E-X-I-E, represent us well. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye. Spent a week in a dusty library Waiting for some words to jump in me We met by a trick of fate French Navy, my sailor